I'm Marcella Onyango and this is Feel the News. Because sometimes after you read a piece of news, you just don't know how to feel about it. And that's what I'm here for. And on this episode of Feel the News, I present to you Freak Out or Don't Freak Out. This is when I tell you about a piece of news and then I tell you whether you should freak out about it or not freak out about it. Trains filled with poop from New York and New Jersey have been stuck in an Alabama town for two months now, making the town smell like shit. Freak out or don't freak out? Definitely freak the fuck out because karma is real people. This is what the nice people of Alabama get for trying to vote a pedophile into the Senate. According to a recent study, 36% of college students are too impoverished to afford food and a place to live. Now, should you freak out or not freak out about this? Definitely don't freak out. Chill the fuck out because college is a place of learning and there's no better place to teach underprivileged kids about the real world than showing them earlier on in life that the wealth of your parents dictates your comfort and access to a good life. This way, when they graduate from college and all their wealthier friends get jobs through their family connections, they won't be surprised. Fake audio is a thing now. Yep. Technologies faking people's voices are rapidly evolving. There's even a fake audio of Obama advertising a tech company out there. Now, should you freak out or not freak out about this? Definitely don't freak out. Yes, accountability as we know it will cease to exist, but Shaggy song is wasn't me will definitely top the charts again. So we will all get to have access to plausible deniability all while reliving our youths with Shaggy. And also, maybe, just maybe, 45 was telling the truth about fake media. Maybe all those clips of him saying those horrible things was just fake audio. Now, doesn't that make a lot more sense that it's fake audio than an actual president saying those things? Teenagers who vandalized a black schoolhouse with swastikas got sentenced to reading, going to museums, and writing book reports instead of jail. Freak out or don't freak out about this one? Definitely freak the fuck out. When I was a kid, that would have been prison, not homework. Now, I get it, homework is somewhat of a deterrent. But come on, seriously? If I had homework instead of prison, I would have been cranking out book reports like a printing press while having the most epic stories to tell. Now, these young whippersnappers, they get homework and get to have all the fun so they get to have better reading skills and enjoy life more than us older millennials? Seriously, no fair. So the lovely state of Texas is deploying the National Guard to the Mexican border to protect the border after 45 asked for militarization of the border. That's right, we don't say the president's name here because it makes us freak the fuck out. Anyway, should you freak out or not freak out about the National Guard being deployed to protect the Mexican border? Definitely don't freak out because clearly our commander-in-chief knows what is a credible threat to the US, you know? Like, the Russians meddling in the election? Not a problem. White supremacists? Perfectly good people. Black men being shot by police? Doesn't even make the radar. Brown children crossing the border for a better life? They will destroy the fabric of our society as we know it and they must be stopped. Seems legit. And that is Feel the News.